Maldives are truly amazing, above as below the surface. Encounters with incredible marine life are guaranteed. Above the surface you can relax at the world's best beaches. Join us on our journey through the Maldives coming up, right now. Maldives owns the title of the lowest country in the world, with an average of only 1.5 meters above sea level. There are approximately 1,200 islands in Maldives. Around 800 of them are still uninhabited, 200 islands are populated, about 200 host hotels and resorts. Most tourists start their journey to the islands after arriving at Hugh Hill Airport. To reach the more distant islands, the journey is usually carried out with the air taxi. For the nearby islands, travel by Doni and speedboat is offered. These anchor directly at the airport to welcome their guests for dive trips or diving safaris. Most of the safari boats anchor directly at the airport. The guests joining a diving safari can get on board here. Coral reefs in the Maldives are very impressive and offer a wide range of hard corals and soft coral. Corals in the Maldives have been relatively well studied. Descriptions of 147 species and literature records of a further 94 species, making a total of 241 species have been recorded. The total number of coral species recorded from the Maldives to date is about 200, representing over 60 genera. Five species of turtles have been recorded for the Maldives. Only the green turtle and the hawksbill turtle are the most common two species that breed in the Maldives. The hawksbill turtle can often be observed in close range on the Maldivian coral reef. They usually feed on sponges which live in shallow depths on the coral reef. Clownfish survive in a mutually assistive symbiotic relationship with anemone. The anemone protect the clownfish from predators and provide food scraps. In return, the clownfish uses its bright colors to lure fish into the anemone where they are killed by the anemone's poison and eaten. Snorkeling with dolphins in the open sea is the dream of many people, young and old alike. There are several spots in the Maldives where you can see dolphins when you are snorkeling. Seeing these graceful creatures underwater could be one of your best memories in life. The manta rays swim into the current and hover or swim very slowly over the station giving the attending cleaners as much time as possible to get to work. The cleaners work fast to remove parasites and dead material from wounds. They even swim into the mouths and gill areas of mantas visiting their reef oases. A main characteristic of manta cleaning stations is that there is a lot of room for the visiting animals to maneuver around them. Often they are islands or coral heads surrounded by sand. A manta can if it wishes turn on a dime, but it needs to be moving slowly to do so, and as is the case with these animals they have a 4 meter wingspan, they need space. The Maldives are likely to be the reminisce of a chain of sunken volcanoes. These were formed around 60 million years ago. Recent studies suppose that coral atolls have formed over hundreds of thousands of years on their sinking remains. 
Donis are at the very heart of the Maldivian way of life, and cannot be missed during your stay. This traditional boat is used for tourists' transfers, during excursions and diving safaris. The Maldives Islands are of coralline origins. Their amazing sand is white and extremely fine. Coralline beaches are rare, they represent less than 5% of the world beaches, the rest of them are mostly made of quartz. This is why the Maldives have paradise beaches everywhere. The coconut tree is one of the symbols of the Maldivian emblem. This national tree is giving shade when spending extended time on Maldives beaches. Coconut trees in the Maldives can grow up to 30 meters high and reach the age of 100 years. The wear of the sun in Maldives. A very high sun protection is a must-have. Located close to the equator, Maldives receives high number of sun rays. Almost direct, they strike at a 90 degrees angle. In 2010, the Maldives has effectively converted its 916,189 square kilometers into a sanctuary for sharks. Free from all shark fishing and also banned all imports and exports of shark fins. Not only does this designation promote the conservation of sharks, but supports a growing sector of shark tourism for the Maldives, an area renowned for its diving and diverse marine life. The Maldives were one of the first countries to recognize that sharks were a key reason tourists went to dive here. The Maldives is home to more than 30 shark species, but only a few of them often encounter diving. The most common species encounter by divers are white tip reef sharks and gray reef sharks. A chance encounter with a shark in the wild is one of the most thrilling of underwater experiences. The world's biggest fish, the whale shark, has its official sanctuaries in Maldives with three places along the archipelago. The Maldives are one of the few places on earth where whale sharks can be encountered all year round. One of the most graceful animals in the Maldives are the spotted eagle rays. Watch these rays glide and fly through the water with little effort. In the Maldives, you're most likely to spot eagle rays on an excursion. Keep your eyes peeled into the blue and wait for these magnificent creatures to show up. Beneath the crystal clear waters of the Maldives, can be found fish of all kinds of colors and sizes. Big shoals of batfish can be found swimming in the blue, which is an impressive sight. A total of over 1,000 species of fish have so far been catalogued from the Maldives. Over 300 of these were recorded from the Maldives for the first time. Seven species have been described as new to science, several more await description. 
Over 400 have been identified and catalogued and many are now held in the reference collection. Some of these Maldivian fish are small and blend perfect into their environment. Leaf fishes and frog fishes are masters in camouflage and regular inhabitants of the Maldives coral reef. Spend some time to search on the reef for small nudibranch in intriguing colors and shapes. These small sea creatures are a delight to observe. A visit to the capital Mali, with its shopping streets and markets is also worthwhile. Visits to Mali should be planned for the afternoon as it is too hot during the day. In Mali, more than 100,000 people live on almost 2 square kilometers. Did you know that there are 30,000 scooters on the main island of Mali alone? Diving in the Maldives is one of the truly unforgettable impressions that you can enjoy on these paradise islands. It is a unique place where you have many unforgettable marine life encounters which last a lifetime. Thank you for visiting the Maldives with us, and we hope you like our Diving Maldives film and the Dive Buddy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel.